Hey guys, it's me again, and today I'm going to be doing a review on Thomas and Friends Season 7. Yeah, this is the last season of the classic series. I have the last season to have music of, from Mike and Jr. And the last season to be produced by David Mitten, I think his name is. Yeah, this season is good. Some people might not like this season. And this is also the first season of the new series in the US, sir. But yeah, let's talk about the new characters. So, the new characters that we have in the season is our Emily, who is uh, the, who is the, oh, who is a uh, Emerald Engine. And she's the only character in the season that almost appears in every single season of Thomas, apart from season 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. But this is her first season. Yeah. <clears throat> Next we have Fergus, who is a traction engine, which he didn't appear again after the season because his track his flywheel was broken in the episode Bill Ben and Fergus. So that's why he didn't appear again after that season. Come on, why couldn't you fix it to uh, and you could bring him back in season eight to uh, Huh. Well they I hope they'll bring him back in the CGI series, but I don't know, we'll just have to find out in the future. Next we have is Arthur, who is a spotless record engine, who has never done anything naughty. And uh, and um he broke the car fish in the episode spotless record. Yeah, and he and it's sad that he didn't appear again after season twelve. I hope he comes back. Next we have Murdoch, who loves peace and quiet. And he's a good lad. He likes to have peace and quiet. He's a bit rude sometimes to Harvey and Salty when they try to ask him questions. Yeah. And it's sad that he didn't appear again after season 12. I hope he'll come back. We'll just have to wait and see. And finally we have Spencer who is a streamlined silver engine. Which he's... A, his design is cool. Yeah. And and he's the second character that gets him enough screen time. And I hope they use that character more often in the CGI series. Which he still appears to this day. Yeah. So... That's all of the new characters of the season. And this is the last season where Duck and Oliver appear until season 12. And season 12 is the last season where Duck appears until season 17. And the last season where Oliver appears until season 18. And this is Terence's last appearance in the season until season 21, uh, which I'll be doing a review on that season soon. Yeah. And. Yeah. So, let's talk about the episodes. So, the episodes we have in the season are Emily's New Coaches, which marks Emily's first appearance. Percy gets it right. Bill, Ben, and Fergus, the old bridge. Edward's brass band. What's the matter with Henry? 
uh, James and the Queen of Soda, the Refreshment Lady, Tea Shop, the Spotless Records, Toby's Windmill, Bad Day at Castle Lock, Renee's and the Roller Coaster, Salty Stormy Tales, Snow Engine, S Something Fishy, The Runaway Elephant, Pre Peace and Quiet, uh, Fergus Breaks the Rules, Bulgy Rides Again, Harold and the Flying Horse, The Grand Opening, Best Decorated Engine, Gordon Spencer, Not So Hasty Puddings, Trust Rusty, and Three Cheers for Thomas. That's barely all the episodes. And my favourite episode is, uh, I don't know, uh, I'll just have to go for, I don't know, there's so many good episodes, I can't think what's my favourite. But I'll have to pick with, what's the matter with Henry, Emily's new coaches, and uh, Fergus Breaks the Rules and Salty Story Tales. There's some other good episodes I like. Yeah. <clears throat> so, yeah. Uh, what do I think of this season? It's a good season, in my opinion. Yeah, this season is good. It is. Uh, and it's also the last season to have episodes running from five minutes. And season seven, the they no season eight they have episodes running for seven minutes from season eight to twelve, and then season thirteen onwards they have episodes running for eight minutes. Yeah, and it could be cool if Thomas and friends had episodes running for twenty two minutes. Yeah, that'd be nice. But we'll just have to wait and see in the future. So yeah. That was my review on season 7. And I'll be reviewing on Jack and the Pack next. Yeah I'm still going to review on season 8. But I'll be reviewing on Jack and the Pack next week. So uh. That's all for now. Stay tuned for some more videos coming up soon. And this is me signing off.